Hello YouTube, this is Bowtied Media. Today I've got a brand new reaction for you guys. The Kings of Chill are here. Cloud Nun, new EP, nine track EP, seven new tracks. And uh, wow, the features on this thing are incredible. You've got Direct, Exist Strategy, Mr. Fijuiji, Chase, Aether, Half an Orange, Drinks on Me. Like, oh my gosh, incredible. The, like you're pretty much getting all of the all of the monster cat all the chill kings of monster cat together in one ep uh led by cloud nun which is so perfect for the year so perfect for the time of monster cat uh he really has been a real uh leader of of this kind of style this down tempo chill out stuff of monster cat in the recent years so I am super excited for this. Uh, I'm ready to get into it. Uh, we will be reacting to all nine songs, um, even though I already did a reaction for Stained Glass and Arms Race came out earlier. So I've listened to the songs already, but we will still will do. Uh, just listen through it, just so we have a, a pure, good listen through it all. So uh, here's the first track of the EP, which has already been released. Uh, the first song released, uh, Arms Race. Here we go. Tied for the longest song. Still a pretty good, just standard track uh, from the two of them. I'll talk a little bit more about it at the end, but I actually I didn't really talk about it too much, but it is Arms Race. The second drop is so much better. Still a big fan of the track. I think it's better now. I, f I feel like, I don't know, I'm enjoying it a little bit more than I did the first time. A 
love the little strings at the end. Okay, that was Arms Race. Uh, I'm not going to say too much about the song. You guys kind of know it already. It's been out for a little bit. Um, great first track of the EP. Uh, the second drop, I think, was a lot better than the first. Um, and it's only better because of what was built on in the first drop. Uh, built upon, I should say. And so, uh, big fan. It was a little bit more of a uh, a darker approach to Cloud and stuff. It's more emphasis on the bass line than a higher melody, um, which uh, we'll see what the rest of these kind of tracks do. Uh, but it was a fairly standard uh, Cloud Nun and Direct uh, track, uh, which I am for. I like I like that. The idea of a standard Cloud Nun and Direct track is a word, words that are pleasing for me to listen to, pleasing for me to hear. So, uh, Up next, though, we've got Parallels uh, by Cloud Nun Direct and Exist Strategy. Coming on back. Been a while. Uh, so here we go. This is Parallels. I'm hoping for some more emotional tracks in the CP. And this may be one of them. more atmospheric. Foley sound. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, parallels. Um, a little more, uh, a lot more chill, actually, than at least Arms Race, and I know Stained Glass is going to be. Uh, I can really feel the Exist strategy on this track. Uh, exist strategy and Direct more so than Cloud None. Um, obviously, it's a conglomerate of all three, uh, but I, I really feel the the Cloud None and, um, sorry, the Direct and exist, exist strategy influences on this track. Uh, it's a lot more chill, a lot more laid back. It doesn't have that um, deeper baseline that Cloud None likes to use quite a bit on his tracks. Um, so... It's a great, uh, great, great song. Uh, not as, um, not as crazy, uh, not as dynamic. Uh, it's a lot more, uh, I would say, linear uh, in where it's going. Uh, it doesn't, not all the tracks need to be that kind of crazy out there track. Uh, this isn't really one of them. This is one of those just absolutely uh, wonderful, just chill, lay back. And already added this to my, my playlists um, and stuff. But um, yeah, it's a chill track. Uh, not a ton going on, uh, but kind of a just a just one of those just solid, solid tracks. Uh, with that, we're moving into number two, Stained Glass. Uh, here we go. I already have done a reaction to this, so I will, if I can remember to link it right here. If not, for my original reaction, if you want to see. Okay, stained glass. Round two of oh, video of it. Obviously, I've listened to it quite a few times uh, until from my last original reaction to this. Um, still like the track. Uh, I w I would say I was a little underwhelmed just because I had these crazy expectations for the track, and I talked about it in my original review, my original reaction. Um, and that was just a me thing. I just had these these expectations that were totally different. I thought it was going to be like a, a song like Time to Say Goodbye, but I realized that's not really at all what I should have been thinking. Cloud Under really doesn't do that. Um, but with the rest of the tracks, I'd be interested to see if Cloud Under does a more emotionally uh, heavy style of track that um, has some more, uh, I don't know, ebbs and flows, grandiose uh, builds, uh, and then small, or Danny Maz at the end. And so we'll see if Cloud Under does any of that with this EP. 
Uh, I know Direct and Cla- or and Fiji Ouija have worked a ton and done a ton of tracks like that together. Um, like, yeah, Tomorrow, Time to Say Goodbye, just a couple examples. So I did like the track a lot, though. Uh, I was I was a fan. Um, I, I love that the four of them got together. And that is just a it's just a it's just a fantastic track. I, I, I loved it. So, um, yeah, if again, if you want to see my original reaction to that, you can see it. Uh, somewhere it's on my channel uh we're heading into track number four though uh this is see the light uh with direct and aether here we go Back strong for the second drop. Okay, see the light, direct and aether, or with direct and aether. Uh, this one feels like one of the more cleaner tracks of the four that we listened to so far. Um, the production quality is crisp, uh, and it is it feels really on point. Um, the hits are hidden well. Uh, just all the the whole instrumentation, the the drum sounding or the kit uh, of some capacity is. Uh, it's really snappy, uh, really snappy and, um, is, is mixed and mastered very well. It, it feels, uh, it feels smooth while still being crisp and it's just, Ooh, it's nice. 
Um, another one of the ones that's a song that's not trying to do a ton. It's still keeping back the um, uh, the, the kind of chill, down-tempo vibes of the track, uh, which is a lot of Cloud Nun. Um, so me saying this isn't like, it's not saying that uh, it should be more out there. It should be like a bigger, grandiose style track. Um, but I'm just saying it's it's a little more laid back. It, it's it's less, uh, I wouldn't say intense, like stained glasses than stained glasses. Uh, that one has a little more uh, a little more oomph to it, uh, where this one is, is meant to be um, meant to be meant to be a little bit more reserved. I think that's the best way to put it. So, and I like it. Uh, I that's one of my favorites. I think so far. Um, there, yeah. It, it just it's just a, it's just a clean track. There, it really doesn't feel like anything's wrong with it um, at all. Like I couldn't even think of anything that I disliked it in one way or another. Um, so, solid, 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 solid. Uh, here we go. This is the one that I'm actually the most excited for. Uh, is Hideaway. Uh, with Fiji and Aether. So now it's Cloud Nun, Fiji, and Aether. So uh, here we go. This is Hideaway. Oh, I can feel the Fiji atmosphere already. Lost in you. I don't even know how to describe it. I just know it. I love his stuff so much. Oh, yeah. Ooh, halftime. Comparatively to the last. Whose vocals are that? And by halftime, I mean it's like it's down tempo, it's not chill out. Okay, hide away with Fiji and Aether. Um, probably my least favorite of the five so far. Um, and here's why. I am, this is, again, this is my, I got to get over my stupid expectations on stuff um, because I am a absolutely massive Fiji fan, way more than any other artist here. 
I love them all. Cloud9 Direct, Exocentric, Aether. Uh, like, I like all you guys. But Fiji is my, my go-to. Fiji's my man. Um, and uh, Fiji's, uh, ex- or his part of the track, um, that kind of, I don't even know how to describe it. Um, but it's so similar to his Dogma EP. Um, of just the, uh, like, I don't, need, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, but just his instrumentation, his atmospheric uh, production, uh, it felt a little more pushed back in the mix. Um, it wasn't as obvious. Uh, and that makes sense uh, for a, a collaboration like this with Cloud9 and Aether as well. And so I understand it. Um, I just would have loved to hear Fiji come out just a little bit more uh, on the track. But uh, that's that's just me. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It, it was still it was still a good track, um, but uh, it just didn't didn't blow me away. Again, I gotta get rid of these expectations in my head. I don't, I don't even know like what, I don't even know what I have. I didn't, I'm just expecting every song to be a ten out of ten, and not every song is a ten out of ten. That's just the truth. Um, so, uh, and don't don't get me wrong. I really enjoy the tracks. I really do. I really really do. They're just not like my all time favorites as of right now. So, that's just hear me, hear me, hear me. So, still good, awesome. But uh, yeah, uh, halfway point sort of. Um, next track is going to be an interesting one. It's a house track with um, Half an Orange, Tarantino. Very intrigued about this. So uh, let's give it a whirl. I'm, I was most curious about this track for sure. Definitely didn't expect Cloud on vocals with half an orange. They're very inaudible, but... Stains more than anything. Oh, 
Hmm. Very interesting. Uh, very interesting track. Uh, first thing I want to say, um, I absolutely adored Half an Orange when they first came on Monster Cat. I love their stuff. Uh, Old Friends is still kind of one of my top. I like. I love it. It's one of my favorite Monster Cat songs out there. Uh, as slowly they've they've produced more and more Monster Cat, I feel like their vocals have just become a little more. Um, like cheesy, I want to say, uh, and I guess that maybe is just their style. Uh, but like, just the yeah, what they're saying, it, it just feels really cheesy. Um, just sometimes, like just the like what they're saying specifically in, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, so that's just like uh, like Simple Money Maker is a great example where I just I I couldn't get past the cheesiness of the track. Um, so I don't think this was too egregious. Uh, it was a little a little cheesy with the Tarantino references. I. I like songs that are a little more subtle uh, with their lyricism in that sense. Uh, this really was not. Um, it was very, uh, very uh, obviously Tarantino. Um, so I, I, I get it. Um, but otherwise, uh, production-wise, uh, track-wise, I, I didn't mind it. Uh, it. It was a little more fun. Um, I like the back half, I think, a little bit more uh, when it had the culmination of kind of both styles or that's just kind of the classic. Everything kind of comes together in one finale of sorts uh, for the tracks and so um i enjoyed it i i definitely enjoyed it um i i don't it's it's it still feels uh even though it's, it's a little bit different um and the half an orange part feels a little out of place uh it still feels like it's connected to the rest of the ep and doesn't seem too uh egregiously out of place it doesn't feel anything one way or another so um but i enjoyed it i liked it uh and i thought uh yeah, it was it was an it, for for the collaboration. It was better than I expected. I'll say that it was better than I expected. So I uh, I enjoyed it more than I anticipated to. So way to go. Well, I've just uh, fixed my light now. It died at thirty percent. I need some I need some better gear. Uh, but we're moving into the next track. Uh, we've got "Breathe Fresh Air" uh, again with direct and exist strategy, just like Parallels was. So uh, here we go. Breathe fresh air. Ooh, very bright start. how nice and bright this is. It's really happy. It's a great change up from the rest of the track list.
looks really nice. That, uh, that might be one of my favorite songs on the EP. Um, it's just such a nice breath of fresh air. <laughs> uh, no, but seriously, um, in terms of where the rest of the track list is, uh, this is, it's really, it's really brighter, um, happier, more serene than the rest of the track list. Uh, and it, it just works. It works really well. It's placed in a good spot in the track list uh, order as well, uh, so that it's not too... Um, it's a good change up uh, for the, the the current rundown of the um, EP, and uh, yeah, like that's that is that's great. That's really great. It's really good. Um, another one that's just that's really not trying to do a whole ton. That's just keeping it nice and relaxed and keeping it nice and reserved um, while while still keeping it really really fun. Uh, actually, that that one sounds that's just. I feel more at peace after listening to that track. I don't know what it is. I just feel more at peace. So that's why I really like it. So here we go. Uh, second last track. Uh, we've got Nocturnal with Drinks On Me. I'm very intrigued uh, to hear this song. So uh, here we've got a garage track. So uh, here we go. expect that did not expect that is not what I expected. I did not expect uh, to hear Drinks On Me rapping 
um, pretty much. So <laughs> this is not what I expected. I uh, I haven't heard. I think I feel like I've listened to a fair amount of Drinks on Me, and I've never really heard him do any. Thing like this, maybe he has, and I'm crazy, but I really have not heard this from him before. So, um, that being said, uh, I, like I liked it. Uh, it was another like different change of pace from the rest of the EP, uh, and I, I really did not mind it. Um, it's a lot more darker. It feels a little bit more brooding uh, than the rest of the EP, uh, which makes sense for a track called Nocturnal. Um, and uh, yeah, just very different. Uh, which I think is why Breath Fresh Air and uh, Breathe Fresh Air uh, and Nocturnal are, are here on the track list or at the end, um, just because it's uh, it can be a little jarring, I think, maybe, uh, listening through in terms of a um, storyline narrative lies or thematically. So, But uh, I, I, I actually I really liked it. Um, it uh, That's an interesting one. I'm going to have to give that a couple more listens. Uh, obviously, I'll give everything a couple more listens. Um, but uh, that one is one that is is hard to really judge on first listen. Um, but, okay. We're moving on to the final track of the EP, the From Here VIP. Uh, very, very excited about this one. So, um, uh, From Here was, was a fantastic track from the Rocket League collection. Uh, what was it, five? Uh, yeah, it was five. Um, so... Uh, one of his biggest hits. So uh, here we go. This is the VIP. I mean, you should see where he goes differently than Atlas, who did a remix of it. Ooh. Ooh. A lot more raw instrumentation. Strange. Sheltered from the cold. Where do we go from here? Where do we go from Nice wall of sound. Oh, what is happening here? Yo, what? Wow. 
Wow. That is my favorite song on the EP. Hands down. Hands down, hands down. Whew, that was fun. Um, a thing I want to note about that track. Uh, I don't think that style from Cloud None works without being a VIP. Here's what I mean by that. Um, that is a very different style from for Cloud None. Uh, it is um, a lot more intensive. It feels like it's got more of a like it even had like a bit of a trap beat into it. A lot more trap influence. Um, almost like some like it was a little bit of everything. It was a little all over the place in a good way. Um, just in terms of um, genre wise, I obviously don't want to put it in a box, but um, yeah, it was, it was a little all over the place with where it was going in a good way. Again, in a good way, and uh, it it, <laughs> it was so much more beat heavy. Uh, and yeah, it was so much more beat heavy than Cloud Nine had done before. Um, just with an emphasis on that line, on that beat. Um, I don't know what to say. Uh, where am I going with that? I don't think if that's an original song, I don't think that works that well. I think it becomes a little, it feels out of place with his discography and it just feels like, a, oh, this is kind of a weird turn for Cloud Nine. But the fact that this is one of his most popular songs, a VIP version of one of his most popular songs, um, if not his most popular song, uh, that you know and love, or at least I do. And so you know the style of what it is. You know the remix that Atlas made too that was a lot more um, uh, chill. And then it's like a, whoa, it just it turns it on its head in such a fantastic way uh, and throws you for a loop uh, that you did not expect. And so I huge fan of that. The the From Here VIP is definitely my favorite, um, which is a little ironic that uh, my favorite track from the And Friends EP is one that doesn't have friends on it. But that's, uh, <laughs> that's how she goes. Um, so... Yeah, uh, that was uh, that was me listening to uh, and reacting to the And Friends EP from Cloud Nun. Um, overall, really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. It is Cloud Nun kind of in his sweet spot. Uh, there's nothing too crazily different than anything he's done before other than the From Here VIP, uh, it, but that's in such a good way. Um, yeah, it, it's nothing, it's nothing too different. It, it's pretty much just, um, I don't want to say bread and butter, but like in a good way, it's like, it's, it's cloud none doing what he does in, in a great way. Um, it's a massive EP too. It's got a ton of names on it. And, um, the way that he managed to keep it all consistent and cohesive and yeah, just put everything together in a nine track EP, 33 minutes basically, and just make it so wonderful is, is just a testament to Cloud Nun's uh, production, his ability, and um, honestly, his, his, I want to say leadership was a weird thing to say, uh, but just to put this whole thing together um, and drive to do so. So I'm um, I'm I'm big big fan big fan of the EP. Uh, we'll have to see where I end up um, ranking what score I give it. Just I need to give it obviously a bunch more listens uh, to see where I, I land on everything. But uh, way to go, way to go, Cloud Nun and friends. So, uh, but that's been it for me. I'm Bowtie Media. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below of this EP, Cloud Nun and Friends. Did you love it? Did you not love it? Did you think it was weird? Did you think it was awesome? Is this your favorite thing? What's your favorite track? Any and all comments, obviously in the comment section. But uh, without any further ado, I'm Bowtie Media and I will see you guys in another video.